So, everybody, my name's Harry James. This is the preview for this week's version of Oklahoma football, and it's Oklahoma at TCU, Texas Christian University. Here is your Sooner Stumper for the week. Uh, during the dark ages, it's the 90s of Oklahoma football, TCU and Oklahoma did play a couple of times. I need to know the record for the Sooners in that era. And here's a little hint for you guys. They were not yet in the same conference. But like we said, they did meet a couple of times. I need to know what the record was in those games. All right, let's just think about that. Plus, we'll preview all you need to know about TCU Oklahoma, the series. Coming up next, Boomer Sooner 1982. Don't go away. <laughs> Everybody. My name's Harry James. So the answer to the Sooner Stumper is during the Dark Ages. What was uh, uh, Oklahoma and TCU did meet a couple of times in the 90s. That's the that's the uh, dark era for Oklahoma football. We need to know the uh, record for OU and TCU in that era. Here's the hint: they are not. Uh, we're not in the same conference they are now. Back when they weren't, though, in the 90s, Oklahoma owned a 2-3 and three record. That's a 67% winning clip. Winning in Norman that way back in 1993. Winning that one, 35-3. TCU with the one lone win in the series in that era in 96, 20-7 in Norman. Sooners then won the next game in Fort Worth in, 20, or in 1998. 10 to 9. So that is a 2 and 3 winning percentage with a 67% winning clip. For Oklahoma TCU overall series, 21 games. Oklahoma leads the pack with a 55, uh, 16 and 5 record. That's a 76% winning clip. The last win for uh, TCU in this series, way back in 2014, when. Uh, 37-33 win at TCU. That's the Katy Perry game. Everybody remember the Katy Perry game? Yeah. Remember that one. Oklahoma, though, did win their last trip to Fort Worth, uh, which was in 2020 with a 33-14 victory over the Frogs of TCU. Pre-game fun! The WWLS, the old sports animal uh, trailer, they are out on campus corner at O'Connell's uh, for that one. Sports Stop 1400, they are out at Balfour just across the street from O'Connell's on campus corner. Uh, that's where KRF is at. Uh, the franchise is just north of the stadium at the party at the Palace. Cannot miss it. It's right there. And then when that thing gets over, the OU, the official OU football uh, tailgate show takes place at the party at the Palace. Again, both one, both just north of Owen Field. Saturday, October 16th at 6.30, the Sooners will play TCU on the Sooner radio call. Toby Rowland! T Row in the morning show. Play by play also does hoops 
and basketball for the Sooners. And as you can tell by the little intro that I did for Tiro, also this is a morning show, Monday through Friday, on KREF. It's from 6 to 9. Speaking of the KREF radio network, Teddy Lehman, he's on there too, and is on the color analyst on the OU broadcast. His, his part of the KREF is from 3 to 6, Monday through Friday. And is the host, co-host, I'm sorry, of the Oklahoma Breakdown with one Gabe Eichert. Speaking of Gabe Eichert, he's on the sidelines for the Sooners. Uh, as well as the podcast, which is released every Tuesday, or uh, basically Monday and Thursday uh, for the uh, Oklahoma Breakdown. Also is a host of Big 12 Today Series Satellite Radio 375. Uh, for, uh, is on there from 3 to 5 on Big 12 Today. Also part of the radio sideline crew, Chris Plank. Uh, KREF 1400, 9 to 11, Monday through Friday, and Fox Sports National Radio, 10 to 1 a.m. on the weekends. That's the series. That's where you need to be. That's the radio crew. So now let's get to the team. The team, Oklahoma, led by Lincoln Riley. Overall, 51 and 8, 59 games. That's an 80. 6% winning clip. And conference record, that's overall, by the way. Conference record, 32 and 5, 37 games. Again, 86% winning clip. Does uh, That does not include a 4 0 conference championship game record for 100%, but just 1 and 3 in bowl appearances. Conference championship histories Oklahoma has 8 conference championships. Uh, that they, uh, division titles. I'm sorry, we'll start there. Eight division titles. 2000, 02, 03, 04, 06, 07, 08, and 2010. Qualified for four more Big 12 championships when they brought the championship series back, uh, reapplied, and won it in 17, 18, 19, and was the second seed in 20. That adds up to 13. Rings, baby. Ten, five, ten. That's one on each finger for the fingers. And three toes. They include 2000, 02, 04, 06, 07, 08, 10, 12, 14, uh, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. The 2020 Big 12 Championship did include a 8 and 2 overall record, 6 and 2 in league play. Lost to Iowa, uh, beat Iowa State in a rematch of their first loss of the season with a 27 21 victory over the Clones, getting them right back to the Big 12 Championship Posts, ATT Stadium for the Cotton Bowl, where they embarrassed Florida 50, 55 to 20. For 2021, the offense and defense look like this for offense. Uh, they are overall, this, that is, they are 32nd overall, averaging 41.7 points per ball game and 471.5 yards per ball game for the Sooners of Oklahoma. Defensively, they are 108th overall, averaging, uh, surrendering, average surrendering 23.8 uh, points per ball game and 356.8 yards per ball game is what they give up. But, Uh, they are they are six and zero. They've won, they won their uh, first game, the Tulane game, which was supposed to be in Tulane, then was moved to Norman. They won that one, 45-35. They then beat Western Carolina, seventy six to nothing. They then beat former Big Twelve rival Nebraska, got a hold of them, pushed them around a little bit, twenty three to six to twenty six to thirteen. The next three are all conference games, including a game with West Virginia, 16-13, win in Norman. The My first ever road trip at to Manhattan ended well for the Sooners with a 37-31 victory. Not as comfortable as you'd like, but hey, a win's a win. And then they beat Texas, 
40, uh, 55-48 in the great state fair of Texas, or whatever they call it, or that's what they call it. For the Frogs of TCU, this is how they look. Their head coach, Gary Patterson, a 1981 grad from Kansas State University, had spent all of his coaching career at TCU beginning in 2000 with an overall record of 181 and 76. That's 256 overall games with a 71% winning clip. In conference play, what about this? 113 and 56 to go with a 138 overall average, winning percentage 67%, and in 17 bowl games and 11 and 6 record, that's a 70. So that's a 65% winning clip. Division, but again, 2017, that is the most recent conference divisional title. They've got seven of them outside of the Big 12, including ones in 1999, 2000, 02, 05, 9, 10, 11, and 14. I believe that's seven overall. Now, 99 and 2000, that was in the WAC, Western Athletic Conference. In fact, 1999, Hawaii, TCU, and Fresno State all finished with the same record. Hawaii won the outright title. 2000, uh, Texas Christian and UTEP tied. Oh, uh, TCU actually won the outright title that year. Conference USA, uh, 2002 year, uh, TCU and Cincinnati both tied together. TCU wins the outright title there. Now, all the rest, 05, 09, 2010, and 2011, those are all Mountain West Conference championships, all their own. They do have one cha uh, co-championship from 2014, TCU and Baylor tied. Baylor, though, won the outright title. 2020 for TCU was pretty pretty good in their uh, 10 games. Played 6-4 and four overall record, 5-4 and four in league play. Sixth best in the conference. All that includes a 33-31 victory over the much-hated Texas Longhorns. That's right, from horns up to horns down. Things this year, a little bit rougher for TCU, not going to lie. 2-2 two and two overall record, tied at ones. That's 1-1 one and one in overall play. Including wins over, uh, uh, actually 3-1, and 1-1 one, one and one in league play. Including wins over uh, Duquesne, 45 to three in Fort Worth, a eight point, a two point victory, 34 32 over SMU. They then, uh, I mean over Cal Berkeley. I'm sorry. They then lost to SMU, 42 34. They then lost to Texas, 30 32 27. They did get it back on the winning track with a 52 to 31 stomping of Texas Tech. TCU, not bad offensively, 50th in the country, averaging 30, that's what they average overall, including a 38.4 points per ballgame average and 446.2 uh, yards per ballgame average. But we all know that what people really care about is Coach P in that defense. 181st in the country for that defense, including giving up 28.0 points per ballgame and 400. 29.2 yards per ball game for the Frogs of TCU. All right, guys. You need some help to kind of grind your TCU OU gears? What about this? Podcasts, particularly this one, Through the Keyhole. Brady Trantham, Keegan Renault, Matt Burton. Great job on this podcast, guys. Through, that's through the keyhole. They also have a Patreon with the same name, through the keyhole. Now, this one, of course, does cost money. The other one is a regular podcast, no money involved. This one does. You can subscribe one of three ways to the podcast, to the uh, page. You can read only, which is a $1 t tab per month. A $2 tab per month includes not only getting to read, but getting to write into the uh, morning posts. And uh, the podcast, the midweek podcast, 
uh, during the off season, the midweek contact uh, uh, podcast during the year, like right now, it is the post game show with Keegan, Matt, and Brady. Keegan also does a special film breakdown review with an all twenty two air cast. Does that on Sundays. You can get that on the Patreon also, but that one's a $5 per month, $4 per month charge. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. My name's Harry James. You can catch this on all my other videos. YouTube, Boomer 1982. Also, Facebook, Harry James Taylor, or on the Twitter machine, I'm in Harry. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and Boomer Sooner, everybody. Peace.